William Black and his crew spend hundreds of hours every year doing this. This is what we run into all around the city where residents either they'll rake their yards out into our ditches and call us to clean it up or they'll hire people and they'll throw the stuff in the ditch and leave it rather than have them take it away. This time they're clearing a ditch on the east side, a repeat offender. And I don't think that's right. And that's not really your job to do. No, we're not. Uh, their own personal lawn care people. And here's why it's frustrating. Not only is it a waste of time, but if Black and his crew don't clean up others' mess, he leads to flooding. He says often the same people that dump their yard debris in the canals and blow it into the street are the ones who have street flooding right outside their front door. If we have a good rain event, like you saw before we clean this out, it's going to back the water up, it's going to flood her yard, it's going to flood the streets. That's where we first met Black several months ago, cleaning out a line clogged up with yard debris, something that could have easily been prevented. When you go out to, to yards and you clean up the ditches, do you talk to residents and say, hey, please don't do this? Yes, we do. I talk to them and I tell them, I even sometimes say, this could cost you $2,500 if you keep doing this. But as soon as he pulls away, he knows they go back to what they were doing. How many citations have you all written to your knowledge? We haven't really written any. To my knowledge. You know what I mean? We try to give them the benefit of the doubt. But obviously, that's not working. Black thinks it's time to hit residents' wallets. If they do that, if they help us, they'll be helping themselves at the same time. Alice Massini, WSAV News 3.